I will show you how you can start working with GMPy and build your first simple geological model with it. For those who don't know what GMPy is, GMPy is a geological modeling software. It can create sophisticated geological modeling of folded structures, fault networks and unconformities. I hope that this tutorial will help to start working on developing machine learning solutions for geological modeling. For those who don't know me, my name is Ruslan, I'm the CTO at the software company. In the first part, I will cover some information about GMPy software. We'll answer the question what it is and what it is capable of. And the second part is all about installing the software and ensuring the proper installation by running some tutorials from the GMPy website. So, let's get it started. GMPy is the package for building 3D geological models. So, in a sense, open source alternative to your commercial software. It can combine stratigraphical and structural features such as faults, folds and unconformities. It uses universal cock rigging method to interpolate 3D scalar field so that we can get the interfaces or horizons. We only need to have a file where surface contact points and orientations are stored and then just load it into GemPy interpolate it and check results on 2D or 3D visualization. Another exciting part is that the software offers stochastic modeling. For example, you can include uncertainties related to z-position in the model. As a result, we would have many different realizations of the structure model. And the package also includes the ability to interpolate the petrophysical properties in 3D using domain creaking. For example, domain could be some rock type for which we want to populate the data. Don't forget to check out the tutorial page on GEMPI website for other ways you might use the package. And now let's talk about the installation of this package. I want to say that the installation was quite challenging not long ago and there were reasons for it. It is because of Tiana dependency, where GEMPI uses Tiano for automatic differentiation in the core of the interpolation solver. And I spoke with GEMPI developers and they expect to replace Tiano with TensorFlow in near future. There are few ways you might install the GEMPI. You can do it directly with PIP using Docker and if you want a cutting-edge version of GEMPI, you can clone the current repository by downloading and installing it manually. I have tried installing the software with PIP and Docker on Windows and Mac OS, and to my surprise, everything worked from the first run. I would recommend you to use PIP method because it's most straightforward. Just typing pip install as it will automatically install all essential dependencies. If something does not work out of the box, then visit the installation guide on GEMPI website. GEMPI is installed and we need to check if it's properly working. Let's visit GEMPI website once more and open a tutorial page. Select the first tutorial. Basics of geological modeling with GEMPI. We need to scroll all the way down and download the Jupyter Notebook. Alright, now let's open the terminal and launch the Jupyter Notebook environment. Here we are importing all the necessary libraries, including PyVista for visualization. We are giving a name for our model here. Download two files for our simple geological structure. The file describes the orientation and 3D surface points. And here we see that the model consists of points describing interfaces and fold structures. Then you need to specify the correct depositional sequence of stratigraphy by declaring a Python dictionary. Here we assume simple stratigraphy where each younger unit was deposited on the underlying older one, defined by strat series. Fold series includes one main fold displacing those layers. By running plot2d, we can get 2D visualization of defined interfaces as a projection on a 2D plane. More than that, we can take a look at 3D visualization. Here we start building a geological model by defining the interpolation procedure. The computations may take some time. As you can see now, it is because GEMPY compiles Tiana functions. Now you can take a look at generated creaking parameters. 
Then we compute the model and should receive two subarrays of lithology and fold block models. Visualization is straightforward. We pass the geo model to the plotting function. It will show you slides from the mid y direction. Here are different ways we might visualize the scalar field. Let's move into a 3D visualization. And also no hassle in powering a 3D window and showing our resulting geological formations. It's really nice to see it in 3D viewer. I will also do another video about using GMPy on realistic geological model and cover some aspects of property distribution. In the meantime, you might consider checking out my video about using open source labeling tool for seismic facies labeling. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.